Hey guys, it's Russell back. And if you've got a 88 to 98 Chevy or GMC, whether it's a pickup, Suburban, Blazer, whatever, and it has rear wheel anti-lock brakes and you're having an awful time getting a good solid pedal, I'm gonna show you how to fix that. Now, I'm gonna preface this by saying you should not do this. Okay, you do this at your own um, risk, your own leisure, your own, um, you know, think about what you're doing. Because what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be basically returning or putting this to the state of no anti-lock brakes. Okay, this only has rear wheel anti-lock brakes. And you can tell because it's got the Kelsey Hayes uh, computer here and it has the, this right here is the dump valve. This is the master cylinder. This is the proportioning valve. On a lot of these trucks, they had rear wheel anti-lock brakes. If you've got a big square uh, module here that's got lines going in, a lot of lines going into it, that's probably the four wheel anti-locks, uh, four wheel anti-lock brake module. And this does not have anything to do with that. But the reason that I'm gonna do this is because number one, I believe my dump valve is contaminated with a lot of uh, brake sludge and nastiness. The fellow that owned this truck did not uh, ever change the brake fluid. So um, I've replaced everything in the rear, the drums, the, ro the drums, the shoes, the hardware, new brake line. I'm getting ready to do the front, but the pedal is horrible. It sinks to the floor. It's just not a good solid pedal. A lot of times what it is, is there's air in here and it's very difficult to get the air out. And quite frankly, unless it's a modern anti-lock system, I, I just don't want it. And I don't need it on this truck, so I'm gonna take mine off. You should not take yours off unless you think about what you're doing. Um, I'm just showing you what I'm gonna do. So obviously, I'm going to remove the master cylinder because I'm gonna replace it, but you don't need to do that. You've got your uh, rear and front. This reservoir is for the rear. This larger one is for the front. It's backwards. You'd think it would be the other way around, but the um, both of these lines go into the top of the proportioning valve. Okay. This um, right here, this is the front circuit. Goes in the proportioning valve. Goes out and just goes out to both calipers, front calipers. Now the rear coming out here it goes from the bottom of the proportioning valve and you see that small loopy brake line I've already loosened this but this right here goes out of the proportioning valve into this dump valve that's got an electric solenoid on it and then goes out this line to the rear so what I want to do is I want to bypass and I'm actually going to probably take this off but the way that you do that is that you remove this line right here, okay? This line is goes directly to uh, the rear of the truck. And then you remove this little tiny line right here, okay? Now what we need to do is we need to connect the line that goes to the brake cylinders in the back to the proportioning valve. The problem is you have to bend the line a little bit so it fits and the fittings are different. This fitting right here that uh, on both ends that goes into the proportioning valve is a half dash 20. That's the size of the fitting, half dash 20. The fitting that is right here on the brake line is 7 16 dash 24. So I'm gonna show you how we're going to uh, get over that and, and get that done and get it fixed. All right, so the adapter that we're gonna use is this Edelman. This is a 258450. And what this will do for us is the thread, the male thread right here is gonna go into the proportioning valve. This is one half dash 20 and the line, the actual brake line, is 7 16 24 in here. Okay, so that's going to allow us to connect our brake line directly to our proportioning valve. Now, 
on some of the later model, model trucks, I believe that the line and the proportioning valve thread and size are the same. It's not on this truck, so that's what we're going to do next. And I'm just simply going to thread the fitting into the bottom of the proportioning valve and then attach the line to that. I made little one little informational error. This, the fitting down here is actually also a 9 16 which makes it nice. In addition to doing that, so we're directly, we're going to be going directly from the master cylinder to proportioning valve out of the proportioning valve, just like if the truck did not have anti-lock brakes. So in order to keep the uh, light from coming on on the dash, we're going to uh, disconnect the connectors on the computer. Okay, comes out just like that. And then um, we're going to leave this disconnected and this bottom one right here goes to the solenoid on the dump valve. Okay, so both of these are disconnected. Um, if you want, you can take these bolts loose and um, slide the computer off, but I'm not going to mess with them. I'm just going to leave it there. So all someone would have to do if they want to do it back, I'll save the little line and all they'd need to do is remove the adapter, put the line back on and you're back in business. So uh, let's get the master cylinder back. I've got another video I did separately on how to bleed the master cylinder and we'll put it back on the car. All right, I just wanted to give you guys the uh, little final update on s disabling the rear anti-lock and taking the dump valve out of the way. The pedal is 99% acceptable now. Uh, I do need to just do a little more bleeding. I did bleed the rear brakes and got a lot of air out. But my goodness, this is the way the, the pedal is supposed to feel in a truck, a Chevy truck. Um, that's what it feels like without the anti-lock brakes, without the boost valve in there. Um, let me crank it up real fast. Yeah. The pedal no longer goes all the way to the floor. It's got a little bit of travel and it's got a nice firm pedal. And that's with the um, brakes, sorry, with the uh, boost pressure. And it's not sinking anymore. So. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. Remember, if you choose to um, disable the anti-lock system on your vehicle, whether it's front, rear, or both, uh, do that at your own risk and your own demise. I was just showing you what I do. I like a firm pedal, and I do not need the um, dump valve, which was defective, um, actually making it dangerous to drive. The truck has now got really good brakes. So anyway, guys, thank you. And I will see you on the next video.